Hi everyone, Peter from Booster Busters here, bringing you another video. Um, today, we're going to tackle a question that I frequently uh, happen to get uh, over up on my Instagram uh, whenever I'm sharing, uh, you know, an old booster pack or doing a old booster pack opening. Um, I get asked, you know, how do I take care of my booster packs? How do I store them? Um, you know, a lot of people are trying to maybe collect some old um, booster packs, either for nostalgia's sake or, you know, they're hoping to resell them down the line further uh, for more. So they, obviously they want to keep them nice. Uh, you know, they don't want them to get faded. Uh, you know, the sun does a number on these things or humidity as well. So they're looking for ways to protect their booster packs. Um, so today I thought I would share with you how I protect my booster packs. Um, it's actually very simple and quite a lot of fun uh, for me, at least. Uh, you know, I'm the type that likes to uh, sort cards and, you know, loves to put them in binders, etc. So let me move these boys up here, maybe. And let me show you what I uh, do. So first off, uh, you're going to want to get yourself... Um, a set of tarot size game sleeves. Uh, these are from Ultimate Guard. Uh, Ultra Pro also makes um, a set of, of tarot sleeves. The Ultra Pro ones are a little bit smaller. The Ultra Pros are 70 by 120. Uh, these uh, Ultimate Guard are 73 by 122. Uh, I like them just because they're a tad bigger. Uh, but honestly, both both are fine. Uh, but yeah, you're going to want to get yourself a set of these. Um, and then, you know, depending on how much, uh, you know, you want to protect your investment, you could either stop right here, or you could follow up with a these one-touch resellable bags from Ultra Pro. Um, both not too expensive. I think I picked these up for like seven bucks each um you can find them online and amazon probably you know your local game store although they are a little bit you know niche items i would say um uh, not so much like normal card sleeves uh you might have to look for a while so definitely online they're easy to get okay um now here's let me show you what the finished product looks like and then i'll walk you by step by step so here we have um you know what we end up with uh, once we're all high and done, is a very nicely sealed, protected booster pack. Um, I like to keep three of every booster pack from every release. Um, you know, sometimes I have less than three, but <laughs> I like to try and do three, so, um, you know, and I try to put them away like this and just keep them, keep them nicely saved and sealed. So, let me show you what this looks like. Let's crack this open. That over there. Take one out. Uh, the very nice thing is they are sturdy. So they are nice and thick. Uh, the sides are thick. The bottom, or the bottom, bottom is right here. Uh, it's nice and thick as well. So let me just show you. Uh, let's take a nice little pack of alliances. Just gonna open that up. Make sure we're not bending the bottom flap there and just slide it in. Um, alliances, you'll notice not all booster packs are equal. Um, you'll notice alliances is sticking out a little bit. For example, when you know we look at a pack of uh, M Tide, for example, is not sticking out at all. So some of them. You'll notice some magic packs are not equal in size. Even between the packs of the same set, they sometimes vary a little bit. The older packs are just a tad bit longer, but that's okay. Since the next step for us is to take our little resealable Ultra Pro baggie. Um, you get the pack in first, so they've got a little, oh, on this side, they've got a little flap here, so first I just put my pack in 
This way I want the fold not on the front. So I put it in. And you'll see, it doesn't matter if our pack is sticking out a little bit because once I pull this tab off, oh no, these are nice and resealable so you can open it, close it, etc. I'll just fold it uh, as needed. And boom, look at that. Full protection. Um, also, if you ship boosters and if you're shipping, um, obviously, you know, very old booster packs that you want to take care of nicely during shipping, um, I highly recommend this combination. It is just fantastic for keeping, you know, shipping something safe. You put this in a nice, um, you know, bubble envelope and, and then you're good to go uh, without, you know, having to worry. Um, so definitely good for keeping dust out, keeping, you know, water in case you are having these out somewhere, you know, from spilling on it. And what do I do? After I'm done with this, I've got a little basket. I stole this from my refrigerator, uh, but I'll be looking to pick up something <laughs> similar um, just so I can keep them like this. And boom, and I just you know stack them like that. You can you know keep them in a box anywhere up to you. Uh, the good thing about this method though is since there's so much protection here, and I know you guys can't maybe really tell. Let me try to get the better focus there. And so that is it's very hard. So there's no problem with me storing these like this and standing them up like this uh, in a box. So, you, know, you can store them on the side the same way. It's very, the sleeve uh, is very tough, plasticky on the edges. So your, you know, booster pack is not going to crease. It's not going to, you know, bend the bottom tab or even, you know, kind of crease out here if you were storing it like this. Um, so even if you just want to do, you know, you don't want to overkill it, and you don't want to do the bag, but you just want to do the sleeve. You know, it's, I highly just recommend it like that. And it's a nice, safe way to store your packs and you could store them easily like this. Um, the good thing is, let me show you guys uh, some other game packs. The good thing is, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what game you play. Um, let's say you like Force of Will. You know, boom. No problem at all. Fits nicely. Uh, you're into Yu-Gi-Oh! A little bit smaller packs. No problem there at all. Put it right in. Boom. Uh, it's even a better, safer. You could probably go with the uh, Ultra Pro Tarot size here since they're a little smaller. Or perhaps you like this little extra comfort uh, edge there that you can, you know, seal off there. Uh, Pokemon, no problem at all as well. Slide that in. Again, these are a little shorter, so you do have that little nice extra seal there. Uh, keep your boosters safe for time to come. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Uh, that's what I do. That's how I take care of them. Also, if I'm shipping them, um, you know, this is how I would ship a a booster pack if it was old etc uh, you know just to make sure it gets to to the buyer nice and safe and in very nice condition so again I'm just gonna lay these out here for you guys of what I use highly recommend it um, you know cheap way to keep your collection safe um, very good for those of you doing lots of booster pack shipping um, doesn't, you know, doesn't take much time to do. And again, it's just, it's just an easy way to, to keep your packs looking good for, for the ages. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sleeve all these uh, and just continue making sure my con collection is sleeved. Um, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, uh, if you've, you know, like the content I'm putting out, uh, happy to take suggestions, comment below, um, watch another video, you know, if you're stuck at home, uh, make sure to stay safe and I just appreciate the time, uh, those of you who have taken, if you've stopped by and watched this video and, uh, until next time, uh, catch you right here.
Thanks for tuning in.